Good evening guys and welcome to episode 16 of Vloggerbox. Yeah. Now we do know that we've actually missed a week out, so um, unfortunately you guys have probably missed out. However, we were on holiday in the Isle of Wight and do you know what that means? Claire, tell them what that means. We've got four videos of uh, exciting adventures in our Isle of Wight, so don't forget to check them out when they come out. Absolutely, they'll be out on Saturdays at five o'clock. So yeah, don't forget to check them out. So this week, who are we reviewing, Claire? We are reviewing Caravan Chit Chat and Brazen Brits. We are indeed. Now Caravan Chit Chat, some of you might be like, who's that, never heard of them. Well, they've actually changed their name. If you haven't seen their latest vlog, watch that because it explains everything. The video that we've chosen is from when they were motorhome chit chat, but it's still the same channel, so search for them under Caravan Chit Chat. We're in the house again today because we've got the fire roaring and uh, it's horrible and rainy outside, yeah. so. And it's toasty in here. <laughs> it's lovely. So sit back and relax and watch us. Watch you. Do Little, Do little Campers, campers Review. review. Sleep. <laughs> Why did we choose to go to somewhere so far when we had so little sleep the last week? Anyway, hello everyone. Hi. Welcome back to Motor Home Chit Chat. <laughs> Sorry, it's so dark and spooky. <laughs> so if you want a horror movie, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, f professional finger in front of the camera. Three <laughs> twenty-five a.m. And we're now going to leave for Cornwall. Well, they're full of beans at three twenty-five a.m. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Hello. We are at. Taunton Dean services, there's the beast and as usual at this place on a on a summer's day, a summer's Saturday it is crazy with caravans and motorhomes There's not one car on that service area. Well there is but most of them are attached to caravans Oh that's smarty So cereal's been consumed isn't it babe? Yeah None of this, none of this McDonald's and Greg's for us, is it? No. <laughs> Cereal for us. Wait Round. For change. <laughs> yeah. Nice to get the old kettle on. And um, yeah, round it up with a posh cat's cup of tea. Posh cat mugs. Oh yeah. You've not made it on YouTube until you've got a posh cat mug. No, and they've definitely made it because they've got two. You keep using my mug. It's not yours, David. We share it. I was the one that opened it. You seen the video I'm on Twitter? Me opening the box. Oh, it's ours. We have to have another lesson about sharing, David. I don't want to. He's having a paddle. There's a very enthusiastic surfer running in there. He can't wait to get to the sea. Oh yeah. Oh, he looks like he's stubbed his toe or got a crab on it. Look at him, he's jumping up <laughs> and down. <laughs> How have they brought a picnic bench with them? Well, they must have a big garage in their motorhome. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. That'd have been on the pitch already. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. 
we've come back uh, we've come down to Padstow Padstow Harbour and luckily enough we've bagged a motorhome space which is pretty handy glorious day as well time to get a pasty and a pint I didn't see a pasty, I just saw a pint. Did he forget to film the pasty? He must have been really hungry. <laughs> or maybe they ran out. In Cornwall? Nah. nah. So we are at St Earth Station. Very overgrown St Earth Station. Oh, too fast, I'm getting giddy. What as giddy as when I kiss you? Fucking <laughs> spaces which is really really handy so we're straight in one of them straight on the train into St Ives easy this motorhome and liking it babe <laughs> yeah <laughs> need to cut the grass so look at it tell they haven't had no visitors here for a while welcome to Covid Covid Britain. <laughs> this is um, this is life right now. This is how it is. We're on the train to St Ives. Oh, I'm really happy now. Why? I didn't know they were featuring a train before I picked this. We can only see inside the train. Well, yeah, but they might give us like a nice lasting shot after the finish. Uh, maybe. The car park was full. No one, um, well, social distancing wasn't a thing, was it, mate? And um, now we're on the train, the car park's pretty much empty, and the, um, well, so is the train, really. Few people on here, but not many at all. And everyone wearing these scary looking masks. So, uh, yeah. I tell you what, it could make Halloween interesting this year. No, <gasps> but everyone will be wearing the same accessory. Yeah, I know, but I'd struggle to take them seriously. I mean, have you ever seen a ghost wearing a COVID mask? <laughs> Spooky. There's <laughs> Vicky. Wave, Vicky. Morning, so, Vicky. Cab curtains, cab blinds have already been... Oh, look, there's little Max. The dog's driving today. Skillful dog. Tessie, take note. Easy as that. We're now in Perranporth and we've found a, an awesome park up for the day behind a garage right in the town, or just outside the town. Last thing we do when we're stopping when we're coming out for the day, obviously we've got a fridge full of stuff. So, gas on. We don't bother, we just leave it on battery and hope for the best. <laughs> we really must stop doing that, David. <laughs> We're going to end up with a flat battery one day. Just discussing what an awesome place to live this must be. This housing estate here. Absolutely stunning views. And we're also discussing how I wouldn't really fancy walking my fat ass back up that hill. Because that is steep. And we've still got some to go. And here we are. Straight on the path. Down into Padstow. That's the harbour just over there. Which is pretty cool. It says a mile, but I'm not sure if that's a mile or not. Perhaps it's a country mile. They're not in the country, they're at the seaside. Alright then, perhaps it's a nautical mile. What's a naughty mile? A naughty mile is a mile that lies about how far it is. But I actually said a nautical mile, which is, um, you know, one of them miles that a ship does. A fantastic week um, but we should be Saturday today we should be on our way home but we are adding a sneaky little little night on to our trip more of which will be revealed shortly the 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 benefits of a motorhome is um, is especially apparent to be able to do this he's really selling some great points about having a motorhome yeah he is he seems to love it 
Can you imagine if they sold that motorhome and replaced it with, say, I don't know, a caravan? <laughs> Have you seen their latest video? No, why? They swapped it for a caravan. You're joking! <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> so the thing that I love about the channel Motorhome Chit Chat is that they absolutely know their identity. They know who they are and they know what they want to achieve with their channel. The caravan chit chat. Oh yeah. Um, so the thing that I love about this channel is that they did know who they are and uh, now they know who they want to be and who they're going back to being. So yeah, caravan chit chat. Nice one. I'm only pulling your leg. But seriously, you guys really do know your identity. And Aaron and Vicky, I think this channel is about you two as people. And I think you could probably go absolutely anywhere, but you would engage us with humour. Um, so that's what I love about your channel. I think it's fantastic. Yes, I loved this video. It was very enjoyable. Thank you so much for showing us around Cornwall. I've been to Cornwall before and I love it, but those places I've not seen and they looked really, really nice. And it was just lovely for you to take us along with you. Definitely. A few new places to go on yeah. the list. <laughs>so here's the thing i've struggled to find a decent navigation system for i say system app you can buy truckers systems right but i found it i couldn't find one that was good for like rvs and things and bear in mind we're what almost 13 i think we said 13 is our clearance right safe clearance yeah so my safe clearance is like 13 feet and Waze was taking us a different way and i'm worried about like low bridges and things so we just went on i-95 and we're going to stick it out in the traffic which sucks yeah. but the other interesting thing that I found out is even though a bridge says a certain height mm -hmm. you have to give a couple of inches because if they've resurfaced the road they won't change the sign uh, that makes sense that's actually quite interesting I'll have to bear that in mind I never thought about that yeah a bit worrying if they've retarmacked a few times yeah can you imagine in a thousand years time you probably won't even be able to get a mini under the bridge in Flitwick <laughs> that motorhome is massive well, they're in america everything's bigger out there have you not been to costco and seen the size of the parking bays or the shopping trolleys Oh, that's because it's a wholesalers. They buy in bulk. It's nothing to do with being American, David. No, it is. Trust me, when you go to America, all of their supermarkets are just like Costco. It's just like pile it high, massive boxes, massive spaces. I'd never reach anything then. No. <laughs> it's very rude. You should never do that. You should never turn up somewhere late with a coffee in your hand. Um, but I need to concentrate on the tour, and I'm very excited about it, so... Um, yeah, coffee, coffee took priority, I'm afraid. Yay! Sorry, I did text your wife to say that we were running late. We had a dog accident. own personal tour guide for that fort that's Ooh. pretty cool so we just came out to uh, walk the dogs um, because they were stuck in the trailer all morning whilst we were doing the fort tour and we found an amazing road that is actually very famous and actually I'm lying it's not a road at all it's Daytona Beach What's Daytona Beach famous for? I've heard of it, but I don't know why. The city is notably famous in history for having hard packed sand which allows cars to drive on it. It's also famous for the fact that 200,000 fans come to see the NASCAR racing on the first day of the season for the Daytona 500 run. 
Did you memorise that from somewhere? They don't call me Dave Apedia for nothing. <laughs> uh, so it was a lovely day until we were sat down and we didn't notice the huge thunderstorm behind us. That's not meant to be here until four. Um, so now we have to try and find... Uh oh! oh. <laughs> we're oh, we're, gonna get too we're about two miles to the car and Roxy's tired. Oh no. Uh, oh <laughs> we'll let you know if we live. I'm pretty sure there was another vlog after this, so I'm guessing they make it. Phew. Spoiler alert. Managed to find shelter in Sunglasses Hut, which was a dumb idea because we made friends. Well, I say we made friends, she very much sold me a pair of sunglasses. Um, so to get out of the rain, it just cost us 200 and fifty dollars or something so um well done chloe you did good well, an umbrella would have been cheaper or even four umbrellas four umbrellas why well, do they need four there's only two of them they've got two dogs you can't get umbrellas for dogs oh uh, you can i googled it i was going to get one for tessie but i think we'd look a bit silly thank goodness for that <laughs> so we're set at walmart natalie's gone into walmart i stayed in the truck with the dogs so, uh, been here for a while. I don't know what she's doing. They must shop at Costco too. How do you know that? Because I'm pretty sure that that bottle of water he's drinking is a Kirkland bottle of water and that's Costco's own brand. Geek. Well, I do sell soft drinks for a living. So on the way here, we uh, we saw a car wash that had a sign outside saying, no muddy cars. It's like starting up a PC repair shop, but saying only working PCs. <laughs> Laundrette, no dirty washing. Doctor surgery, no ill people. Recruitment agency, no unemployed. Tanning salon, no orange people. You're not getting it, are you, David? So the cool thing is, I wanted to do a, uh, a time lapse with a new camera that we bought. And um, now I don't need to, because this is it. You can literally... I've been here, we got here in the light at Walmart, Natalie went in and it's almost dark now, so don't need to do that, it's one thing off my list. <laughs> it's getting dark now, wouldn't it be funny if she came back and said, nah, there was nothing I wanted. Hmm. <laughs> or if you came back with a great big Costco trolley that was empty. Have you got shares in Costco? No, but I've got a membership card. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she left me? Like, I think it's weird. Not that she left me, that she left Jack. That's how I know you're going to come home to me every day. I like having a dog. It keeps me in a stable relationship. Aww. True story. <laughs> that didn't take very long. I found this video so entertaining, it was really funny, um, really made me giggle, showed us some great places. Uh, it's just nice to see what happens over the other side of the pond, isn't it? We don't see much of America. So uh, yeah, thanks guys. Hmm. So I think the great thing about these vloggers are that they're in America, but they've still got English accents, so I can understand what they're saying. Um, hmm. But no, on all seriousness, guys, I think it is great to see that extra dimension and to see films from the other side of the pond. Um, so really enjoyed it. And the session where you're outside the shop, that was hilarious. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it was good. And Tessie was just telling you that she really enjoyed it too. Yeah, that's all that bark <laughs> was about. So yeah, thanks, guys. So that was episode 16 of Vlogger Box. Really hope you guys liked it. And also I'm going to take this opportunity to plug our next adventure. It's the first 
big one that we've done to be fair it's a whole week's holiday and that's why we've got four different episodes mm. coming up on consecutive Saturdays so for the next four Saturdays will be the Isle of Wight Adventures and I think we put together some really good footage so hopefully you guys will enjoy that too yeah we had great fun didn't we absolutely we wanted to share it with you guys definitely so don't miss that and I hope you've liked today's video and if they've liked it Claire what do you want them to do? Oh, please could you like, comment and subscribe if, you, if you're not already on our channel. Absolutely. And also, we're not just on YouTube, you know. Where else are we? No, we are on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. We're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. So yeah, catch us on there as well. <laughs> parroting it. The parroting it. Um, <laughs> anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching us. Watch you. Do, Do the campus, campus review. review.